That's right. And we from early in the season. Um, how appropriate was it that tonight kind of came down to a defensive stop against, you know, one of the league's best players to snap this streak? You know, sometimes it's just the, you know, the way the ball bounces. But I thought overall we did a terrific job on him. He's uh, extremely talented. He's a, he's a tough guard. So you got to send, you know, multiple bodies to, uh, for him to get off the ball. Um, I know you look at you look at the numbers and he scored 27, but you know over the last five he's averaging close to 40, <laughs> and we, we kind of forced him into some tough some tough twos. Uh, I think held him just about 41 percent from the field. So not going to keep him from catching it, but you know when he when he caught it, we had to you know junk it up at times and, and, and double him. And, but uh, very fitting, and I thought it was a pretty decent carryover from. Uh, the bulk of last night, you know, second half of last night, uh, outside of the last probably like five minutes, I thought we were, we were playing well. Uh, but to, to get the payoff tonight, I think, is a, a great reward for our guys. How happy were you that on the offensive end, it was really a collective, you know, Kyle kind of got going early, but um, it seemed like everybody had a big bucket at some point. Everybody was involved. Yeah, no, I think that's how it has to be. Uh, we've seen that at times this year. Um, and, and now, and you know, with the absence of Brad, he, that's a big chunk of our offense. Um, but no one is just going to step in and, and fill that void. So I think collectively, everyone's just got to pick it up in certain areas. And you know, tonight was a great example of that. Well, you know, I think he, he struggled a little bit from the floor early, but he settled in. I, I love the fact that he just stayed aggressive. It didn't, you know, deter him at all from you know trying to play downhill, try to play the right way. Got in paint and kicked it out, made the right plays at the right time. Um, you know, and free throws late in the game are, are, are huge. How can he be effective when Brad is in the lineup? Well, I think it's just a matter of, you know, him staying aggressive. And I think at times he defers. Um, and it's a tough balance because you want to see your best player get going. He's trying to, you know, force feed him at times. But you know, there's plenty of opportunities for him to stay in attack mode and play downhill. He, he's done it. So I think it's just one of those things, more of a mindset that he doesn't have to necessarily, um, you know, worry about featuring, you know, Brad per se. Brad's going to get plenty of touches and we're going to keep the ball in his hands quite a bit. So um, there's equal opportunity for, for both of those guys to flourish. So pregame, we talked about just the advantage of a back to that, having that mental toughness. What mental toughness did you, did you see out there tonight? Well, I think we saw quite a bit of it. You know, I think it, it's always tough with the, swallow a, a tough loss, you know, on the road and then turn right around 24 hours later and play again. Um, but we talked about that being a, a mental component. You're not going to get on the court, you know, for shoot around. You're not going to have time to really go through uh, the details, do, do a walkthrough in a ballroom. Um, but I thought it was great carryover. You know, they stuck to the game plan. They trusted it. They executed it. Um, you know, and we, we showed enough energy and, and you know, on the second night of a tough back-to-back -back that we were able to come away with one. And also, just wanted to bounce off Kyle's point. You guys just made it so hard for him to beat in those first two quarters. Can you just talk about what, what did you do in those first two quarters that made it so hard for you? Well, I don't want to give everything away, but <laughs> uh, just we sent, you know, we kept sending bodies at him. You know, we were coming from different areas, but um, trying not to give him a steady diet or the same look. But the priority was get the ball out of his hands. And lastly, so who's been just has been in the groove? Um, what did you say that night that, you know, he just had, he just had it going? Well, he's that, he's that type of player, you know, he's obviously, he's capable of doing a lot of things, but when he kind of sees a few, when he sees a couple of them go in, and, and, you know, and now he's shooting into a big basket, he's playing with a lot more confidence. Uh, I think he understands that, you know, his impact on this team, you know, defensively as a rebounder, he, he can play make, uh, and obviously he's making shots. So it's, you know, putting a complete package together. Coach, I just wanted to you know, maybe the last chapter that he likes to the ball close to I think it's great. The more, the, the better. You know, I think he's he's learned to kind of play the way we want to play. He's taking advantage of opportunities. He's guarding, you know, really well. Um, and, and to get another guy who can play downhill, I think is really uh, it, it puts a lot of pressure on the paint. You know, we had another good paint night tonight. Um, you know, we were dominant on the glass as well. So um, that combination, I think, is is terrific for us. Chase. Hey, Wes, um, with the way Kuzma has been scoring lately and with Brad out, I would imagine um, he's a, a greater and greater focus of the scouting report. What does it say about his growth to continue to score the way he has knowing that? Well, I, I don't I don't really know if that's 
100 true. I would, I would imagine, you know, he, he's scoring at a high rate. He's been very, pretty efficient at it. Um, but you know, I think for the most part, he's not forcing it. Uh, that, that's the part I think I, I can appreciate most. He, he'll take the opportunities when they present themselves. I'm more than comfortable with him staying aggressive. Uh, but you know, just to continue to play the right way, and he's done a better job of cutting down on the turnovers. So you know, that that's a benefit to uh, us in general. I mean, we've had time a uh, hard time. At, with that, and tonight was a good example. I think 10 turnovers, six points, that's that's big for us. You guys had a big advantage in bench scoring. Um, what stood out to you about your second unit tonight? I think the ball movement, you know, they, they, they continue to play together. Um, move it, share it, you know, get the defense moving from side to side, I think is great. Uh, take some pressure off one guy having to make a play. Um, and everyone everyone's involved. So everyone touches it, everyone feels, you know, part of it. Uh, I think that helps, you know, some of the rhythm and some of the spacing. Uh, but it's great to see the, you know, those guys can contribute. And there's really not a ton of drop off when you, know, you go to your bench. Neil. Hey, Coach, I know you often say, you know, it's a better question for the players, but could you sense anything, whether it was, you know, pregame walkthrough, pregame speech, right before you guys come out, where, you know, they were really locked in, really focused, and you might get that this kind of an effort tonight. Well, I didn't think it was an uh, an issue of effort. I, I could feel that they're they going to come out and play hard. It just the execution part, you know, that component was there tonight. And uh, you know, I think that's the most important thing. You know, having that carryover from your film and your walkthrough, um, can they retain it and apply it? And tonight we did. So I'm very proud of them. You know, for for that. But there was just that that air of belief. You know, and we've been you know kind of beat down a little bit. Uh, haven't had the best luck. We've lost some tough ones. We, we, we've had some bad games. So you almost feel like, you know, what we're due. So it was great to get one, you know, on the second night of a back-to-back -back on the road. I think that's meaningful. It's uplifting for the entire group. What would you say is the biggest translator between, you know, just effort, but then also getting that execution? Well, I think the connectivity. You know, I thought we played well together. And that's, you know, something we have to just continue to, to hold on to. You know, it, we're not always going to make the shots. We're not always going to, um, you know, be as efficient on offense. But, you know, if we're connected, that means we're flying around. We're covering for each other. We're locked in. We're trying to uplift each other. I think those type of intangibles, when they play out, um, they'll get you through some of those tough stretches. Can you take us through that last um, session where you got the block on Joel and, you know, how significant is it for Joel to have that block and then Joel to not only break the streak, but break the streak with a defensive stop. Um, I think it was huge, I think, for us. Um, you know, the biggest thing in that moment, I don't remember how much time is left, maybe 4.2 seconds or something, but, you know, we just wanted to keep bodies on bodies. Uh, you know, our plan was to switch one through four. Uh, well, really one through five um, prior to the ball coming in and after. And... Um, you know, obviously we knew the ball was going to go to the MVP and, um, you know, uh, I saw him driving. I was there. I came to be the low man about to take a charge and, you know, he made a hell of an adjustment making a, a Euro. And I knew if I would have stayed there, then it probably would have been, you know, an and one or a foul. So I kind of just moved out the way and, then, you know, just luckily got a hand on it. And, um, the second part of your question, you know, it was huge, you know, obviously, for us, you know, defense was good for good for us at one point in time of the year, and then you know lately it hasn't. But um, you know, anytime you can get a game winning stop defensively, it's it's a uh, it's a good camaraderie boost. So you guys never really let them get a rhythm in the all game. When they try to make a possession or let them stop, and even the way you guys kind of kept them kind of them. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, we are the ones on the court playing, but, uh, you know, I thought Wes, Wes um, he did a great job uh, tonight uh, with his adjustments, uh, you know, with his rotations, um, you know, and, and easing the storm in certain situations when they made runs, calling timeouts, and, you know, we just made the right plays down the stretch and, you know, throughout the whole game. So, uh, obviously, it, it was a collective win, you know, from players to staff, and, uh, you need that, especially in a road and a hostile environment like here in Philadelphia. So, uh, man, he had a triple double. Um, as he said in the locker room, he said, uh, 
really a quadruple double. Um, he had points, rebounds, assists, and missed shots. So uh, he had all four tonight, but you know, we'll take it. It's all good. <clears throat> Did he make as aggressive as he was? How much does that open up? Not just his game, but the other uh, I mean, we, we need him to be aggressive, especially right now. Um, you know, we're down bodies, and, uh, you know, he's been in the funk kind of all year. So, you know, he just, I feel like the number one way to get out of a, a funk is just go out there and ball out. Just, you know, obviously not jack shots, but be aggressive um, as, as much as you can. And, um, yeah, I know I think, I think he had a, you know, positive game for us. Hey, you can talk about the mental toughness it takes to put up performance you all did on back to back. Oh, extremely, man. You know, we, we got into town. Um, Landed probably about 2 a.m. Um, I know me personally, I didn't go to sleep till about 4. So, you know, just the NBA is a grueling season, um, you know, nonstop travel. Uh, and, and people don't really realize how tough and demanding physically and mentally back-to-backs uh, -back are. You know, you, you got to think you're, you're going up in the air 30,000 feet after a game, uh, causing more swelling to your body and inflammation. And then, you know, you got to come out and play with not that much sleep. Um, probably not the best food choices and um, you got to go out there and compete, but, you know, credit to the guys and, you know, everybody's just staying logged in and, uh, mentally and, you know, pulling out a W. So. Actually, uh, after the game, a couple of the fans that rushed me said, hey, Kyle Kuzma, my brother, why you have this game? Why, <laughs> why do you, you know, can you ask him why did he cook us tonight? So in regards to that, what made the defense that you saw tonight have you a game that could cook for 24 points? Um, you know, I, I watch a lot of film and, um, you know, credit to, you know, the people I've been around and, and me just trying to be a student in the game and understanding what a defense is trying to do. And, um, you know, a lot of times they were in deep drops, uh, meaning uh, Embiid being back, allowing me to get downhill and, um, you know, make a couple of floaters. And, you know, once I get a couple of floaters going, you know, I feel like my jump, my jump shot starts falling. I get more confident. So, um, you know, it's not really necessarily a rhyme or reason. It's all about really flow and, and um, taking what the defense gives you and, um, you know, just being calm and patient all night. And, um, you know, I think, you know, credit to that. So. And last, you had a fadeaway, almost a Kobe S. Uh, you talk about that, that particular play. I mean, I work on that shot every single day. Um, you know, I don't shoot it too much, but, you know, when I'm in a gym and, I, and I'm working out, working on my game, you know, I shoot those every single day and I'm confident in it. And I know if I ever get post-ups and I can't get to the rim, I know I, I got a fadeaway to fall back onto. And, you know, I'm confident and I've took a thousand of those shots, thousand, thousand. So uh, I'm confident in it. How comfortable are you with your floater and how do you, and your runner? Mm -hmm. And how, at what stage in your career do you feel comfortable? That's a one of the tougher stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've had I've had the floater all my life, really. Um, you know, going back to uh, high school, I had a high school coach that uh, for an entire summer, you know, I didn't shoot threes, I didn't shoot pull ups. You know, all we worked on was you know post work, footwork, and uh, you know just touch. And you know, I credit a lot of that to you know being at a young age and, and focusing on those little basics to. Uh, you know, carry me through. And, you know, it's just like second nature now. And uh, I work on it every day still. And um, it's a big part of my game, so. Case. Hey, Kuz, with the, the way you've been um, scoring these last few months, and especially in a game when, like, Brad isn't out there, um, do you notice a lot more focus from the opposing defense? And what's it like trying to stay ahead of them and continue to counter what they throw at you? Um, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, obviously I didn't have this type of role at the beginning of the year and, you know, it's been picked, picked up over the last two months. So, um, you know, for me, you know, I'm, I'm ready for this moment. Uh, been ready for this moment, been asking for this moment for years and, um, you know, I'm, I'm just ready for it. Uh, you know, I put a lot of work in, I love the game. I study the game. Um, I care about the game and, um, you know, it, it's just coming easy to me right now. So I just uh, I'm just reaping the fruits of my labor and uh, all the hard work that I put in. So, Neil, 
Because I know you joked last time when you had the dunk on Joel that, you know, he, he said if you do that again, he's going to punch you. Is there anything that he quipped or joked about anything with you after the block? No, nah, he went off the court early this time. So, I mean, obviously it was a tough game. Uh, you know, probably a little disappointed of, you know, taking a loss because, you know, they've been one of the hottest teams in the league all year. So, uh, you know, didn't have no uh, communication with him. So. And coach was talking about, you know, the effort is there a lot of the times, but it's not necessarily always translating the execution. What do you think was uh, working in that regard tonight? Uh, I mean, you know, basketball is a, a basketball is a, you know, a make or miss game. You know, at the end of the day, um, the most important thing is your habits. The most important thing is um, also just doing the right thing and trying to do that consistently and hoping that the result um, is what you want. And, uh, you know, you can go all through a game and have the perfect execution and miss every shot. And you, you just have to, you know, deal with it and live with it. Uh, you know, that's just how the game is and um, how the game's played. So, uh, you know, I think tonight we did a much better job down the stretch executing um, than that Milwaukee game. You know, I think the last four minutes of that Milwaukee game, we kind of fell apart, didn't know what we were doing. Um, didn't really get into action, didn't play defense, had a lot of miscues. And, and tonight still has some miscues, but uh, the ball went our way. And, you know, that's just a game of basketball. So, you know, the second team to break the streak and, and also get it done on a defensive side. Um, obviously, definitely good to get it done on a defensive uh, side. I think more importantly, it was, it was good to break it against a good team. Um, and being in the stretch that we're in, um, obviously taking a little bit of confidence away from that because it's not really going to get any easier. You know, Milwaukee on the road, Philly on the road. Now we, you know, got Miami and Phoenix soon. Like, you know, none, none of those teams are, are bottom of the barrel by any stretch. First career triple-double, what worked so well for you? Um, you know, anytime you get a triple-double, um, anytime you have a high assist, well, let me not say anytime because I've never done it before, but I've had high assist games before, right? So that's all credit to my teammates, right? Anytime you start getting 9, 10, 12, 14 type assists, um, that's that's all due to your teammates uh, making shots. In terms of the rebounding effort tonight, I think, uh, you know, our bigs getting locked up with Embiid, uh, battling a lot, and then uh, just my matchup, right? So I was uh, on thigh bill a lot. Um, and he's typically a cutter. So I'm either, you know, doubling on Embiid or I'm kind of one of those guys catching uh, the cutter and help side and different things. I don't have, well, it wasn't Curry tonight, obviously, but like a Danny Green or something who's a spot up shooter. So I'm not out on the wing. And so just was fortunate enough to get some of those rebounds kind of fall on my lap. Uh, and really the points just came because I shot a lot because I didn't shoot well. So. Um, you just try to pick up the pace, uh, have good ball movement, um, and then everybody picking their spots in the in the right time. Um, we we have a lot of hungry guys uh, on our roster, and you know they're they they all have a willingness to score. So you know, it really, just comes down to the timing, and then hopefully making the shots. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's been one of the most uh, uh, underrated aspects of my season so far. Like, the role has changed a, a million times. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes I play the first six minutes, sometimes I play the first four. Uh, then I'm playing with the second unit or I'm not, or, you know, then it's sometimes on the ball, off the ball. Like now, you know, it's a little bit uh, longer stretches, uh, you know, a little bit higher volume. Just, you know, I've had to move around a lot. And, you know, that's also coming off of, you know, not playing in 18 months, right? Because I didn't play in the bubble because of COVID and I missed, you know, all but, you know, what, five, six games the, the last season. So, you know, it's uh, it's been a, a crazy adjustment period. Um, I've always said whatever they ask me to do is what I'm going to do. And, and in terms of uh, 
high volume stringing together 10 minutes, things like that. Like that's, you know, where, where I've been most comfortable my entire career. So. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a part of life, you know, my, my road uh, to this point hasn't been easy. Um, you know, I fought as a kid, I fought as an adult. Um, and, you know, like I said, I, I'm also a father, so you have a, a great perspective and, uh, you know, you just understand like life and, and have a balance to it. And I, I trust my work and, you know, let the chips fall where they may, you know, it's, there's always going to be uh, bad times. There's always going to be things said about you. Um, whether they're fair or not, like it's just it's part of it. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously Philly has uh, some some really passionate fans, and obviously they have a good team as well, and arguably the MVP. So. You know, you you land at 2, 3 a.m., you just got to try to get your rest. And then when you start walk through and, and shifting gears, because, you know, it was a tough loss in Milwaukee, you want to um, stay locked into the scouting report. Um, just really take it day by day. Don't uh, get too caught up into what can happen in the future or anything. Just just live in that moment and, and approach this game. Do your body checks. Make sure that, you know, you're ready to go physically and, and approach that game for what it is. Also, first of all, congratulations on the first ever jump. Thank you. Why don't you just talk about the assist side of it? Uh, you found your team, and you tried to play it in the right spot. Yeah. You just talk about what the defense gave you that allowed you to have such a high assist. Um, you know, for uh, for some of those baskets, it was a, a lot of great cutting uh, off the ball by like Denny and you know Corey guys like that. Um, you know, with with Embiid in such a deep drop, um, you want to come off the pick and roll clean, um, draw his help a little bit, and then Trez was really knocking down floaters. Um, you know, this wasn't a team where we necessarily got a, a ton of spray out threes. Uh, well, from me personally, but um, you know, that's uh, what I was mostly looking looking to do. Um, just to attract the help. Anytime you get two on the ball, you did your job as a PG. So, you know, uh, continue to stay aggressive, get in the pain, make make the right read. Neil. Hey Spence, you know, you talked about being a dad, you've mentioned that before. What did it mean to you to, you know, be able to have your son there today and kind of share that moment after the game? Oh, it's always dope. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I try to have him at as many games as possible. Um, you know, he he recognized it now. You know, he's three and a half going on four. Um, there's a time period when, you know, he was a couple months old, year old, and he had no idea what was going on. Now uh, he's fully aware, you know, he runs on the court. He says, you know, daddy, you won. And, you know, he's happy and he cries when we lose. So it's, it's a fun experience.